going on you guys all right so what I'm gonna do today is a video I wanted to do for a very long time and in fact this was the original Kingdom Hearts video I ever wanted to upload but never got around to it I'm gonna go over the voice actors of Kingdom Hearts and I'm gonna you know show you who they are and I'll show the characters and with with a couple of these voice actors I'm also gonna show you some other characters that they voiced so without further ado let's get right into it The main protagonist, Sora, and one of the antagonists is A Birth by Sleep, both voiced by Haley Joel Osment. As you'll know as a little boy from The Sixth Sense. Arguably Sora's love interest, Kyrie, voiced by two different actresses, Hayden Panettiere, who voiced Spot in Bug's Life. And she's done a lot for Disney. She was in Remember the Titans? And the other voice actress for Kyrie is Allison Stoner. who has done more for Disney than Hayden Pensier. She was in Camp Rock with another voice actress and I'll get, uh, I'll get into it in a little bit. Naminé. Naminé is voiced by, has been voiced by two different actresses as well. The first is Brittany Snow. who, if you saw the remake of Hairspray with Zac Efron, she plays the character Amber. And the other voice actress is Megan Martin from Camp Rock. Oh, and also, Allison Stoner voices Shion and and three five eight over two days, but because Shion is actually meant to have Kyrie's voice in Dream Drop Distance, she was voiced by Hayden Panettiere and so on. Now with Riku, he was voiced by David Gallagher who you might know from Seventh Heaven and he played a character that had this well went was going through a rough phase or something I, I I've never seen the show but he's voiced by David Gallagher now, Master Eric is from Birth by Sleep. Is voiced by the one and only Mark Hamill. At first I didn't know it was him, and then when I saw The Last Jedi, I can hear the Ericus in his voice. Now his friend that turns into the main antagonist of the series, Master Xehanort, is voiced by none other than the late Leonard Nimoy, better known as Spock.
Last but not least, my boy Roxas. And of course, Ventus. Both voiced by Jesse McCartney. Who he's voiced the one son from that god awful movie, Horton Hears a Who. Steve Carell's character says, I have 99 daughters and one son. He was the one son. And the uh, live action adaptation of Alvin and the Chipmunks, he was Theodore. And so that's all I have for now. Now, next Friday, I'm going to upload the Star Wars video I meant to upload last week. But given my situation last week, I had other priorities. And then the Friday after that will be the last week, the last Friday of the summer. And... I've already have my classes scheduled. They'll be like in the afternoon and stuff. So I can basically wake up, have breakfast, get my morning routine done, and then just go back to sleep. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week. Bye.